Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Billy with Craft and Cake with Billy. I'm so happy you guys are here today. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. And to all of my other crafty friends, welcome back. Um, today I thought I would share with you uh, my latest creation. And it is a vintage purse junk journal. So I'm sure this has probably, be, probably been done before but it's not something that I have seen and <clears throat> I actually wasn't even going this way with this journal until I got inspired to um, change my journal into something different. Um, I was doing a shabby chic, of course, and then I was just thinking, you know, I really love um, the vintage jazz theme so I thought I would incorporate some of those elements to my junk journal and as I was doing that I thought well hey I have some cut paper bags that I used for my stuffed gingerbread bags and I had the ends of them and I was like I can use these for something so I decided to use them as handles on my junk journal. So that's where I got this idea from. And so as I was saying, I was doing a vintage shabby chic kind of journal and then um, I decided to go into more of a jazz theme. I love jazz <clears throat> and I love the um, the fashion, the music of that era, and I just thought I would um, incorporate it into my journal. So this is what I came up with, and um, honestly, I don't even know the measurements of this journal, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll tell you um, what I used. Um, I used some fabric from actually some trim from Hobby Lobby. I use these vintage buttons here and um, some more of the floral trim and some lace. <clears throat> Underneath that, I used some of that Dollar Tree netting and some more lace here at the bottom. And um, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Okay, and then on the back, <clears throat> on the spine, I just closed it with some lace. And then on the other side, it has lace and pretty much the same trims. And then I added a shabby flower that was gifted to me. And then a cute little pink feather. So, let's open this. And I'm hoping I can stay in frame with this. I'm gonna open this tie here. And as you guys remember, uh, my paper dresses, I just set that here so you can see that. I'll, um, I'll link the video of that below as well if you missed that one. But I thought it added to the um, time, so. All right, so when you open it here, um, here is my favorite image here. And if you guys recognize this, I do have this in my she shed, this image of Billie Holiday singing. And if you guys aren't into jazz, um, it's something you should, should um, expand your mind and um, it gives you some creative juices if you're crafting. Um, so you should try it out. You might like it. Um, I added this flat flower here because Billie Holiday is known for the flowers that she wore in her hair. So I added that here, which I do need to glue down. And here is a tag with a couple of buttons there. Some trim here and then some vintage looking floral paper there. 
Um, here is some floral paper and I just tore this side pocket and added a button here. Okay, and then I added this image here of this beautiful lady. I can't really tell you who she is, but she looked like she was from the time. And then I added some music paper. I think that is actually a jazz song. Okay. And then some space for writing here. And I love this page right here. So <clears throat> this is 125th Street in Harlem. And this was taken back in 1964. And it has the Apollo Theater and a bunch of different um, businesses in Harlem. And check out these cars and check out that bus. I just love that image. Um, I actually got this image from a jazz book that I got from a used bookstore. And I collaged this uh, tag here and I put the jazz age. These little pieces here I collaged as well. Okay. All right, on the next page, I added a tag here. And here are those tickets that we made together the other day. Look how much um, pizzazz they add to your journals, right? Um, some butterflies here. And then inside this bag, a little spot for journaling. Some vintage looking paper. <clears throat> I then collaged this tag here and I kind of ripped the paper here added a shabby flower and added th this image of this beautiful lady. She looked like she could have been a flapper or a dancer back in that era. Um, I repurposed this bag. Someone had gifted, gifted it to me and I thought it went well here so I added that. There's another one of the tags that we made together, and there's some ephemera. And then here I have a little Tim Holtz image of this little girl. And then here is some netting. And then I just added some coffee dyed papers on the inside. And the paper here, this green paper, is coffee dyed as well. All right, okay. The next page here is some more floral paper that I tore and inked. I made a cute little cluster with a button there. And then this is another Tim Holtz uh, person. And then I collaged this and there is a beautiful flower there. Some more paper for writing and some green trim with a pink button. And here is another little piece of ephemera that we made together. You guys remember that? Okay, any of these things that you see here in this um, journal, I will link all of this below so that you can uh, see how these items are made. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So this page is another um, torn pocket. And then I added some little um, definitions of piano and music. And I got these from children's um, dictionaries. And there is a piece of ephemera here, Charlie Parker. He is another uh, jazz musician. Here's some more music paper. This is some pink dyed paper that I dyed with food coloring and a stamp from, I believe, Craspire. Um, and it's a dress form. And look at this beautiful image. This beautiful lady has a beautiful dress and she looks like she may be going to 
a jazz party or jazz concert. So I added a belly band here. And then here's another one of those flips that we made together that fits right here. Okay, the next page, um, I added a belly band and some trim here. And then some spaces for writing. And that goes here and I inked around that paper. And then added this one. And then here is a picture of the wonderful Ella Fitzgerald. She is also a jazz legend. And I thought this was a beautiful picture of her. And here is um, a piece that we collage together and it's just a space for writing. And then here I used some of that vintage um, floral paper just for added interest. Okay, the next page. Those, this right here is one of those pockets that we made from the book pages, remember that? So we made that together. So all of the things that we uh, have made together in the past few weeks are probably in this journal because I was making this journal at the same time. So um, here's some floral paper and just some paper for writing, taking notes. <clears throat> So here's some more floral paper, some coffee stain paper that I stamped. Love coffee stain paper. Another pocket here. Some of the cute little vintage looking chairs. And there's a little flip for writing. And then a couple of booklets, spaces for writing. There's a pink one and a green one. Then I added some netting and some of that popcorn tool. And then here is some of the wood grain paper and some more of those tickets that we made together. These vintage looking artistic tickets. Okay. And then I left these two places blank for writing. It's always nice to have spaces for writing so there's another spot for writing there's some trim and a flower pot and then there's a vintage um there's a vintage floral card and then here's another floral here there's another one of the pockets and a mini envelope <clears throat> another image of this beautiful lady. And then a couple of tags here for writing. One is collaged, the other is stamped. So guys, if you haven't um, listened to jazz before, I would recommend one of my favorite jazz songs is Giant Steps by John Coltrane. It is phenomenal. And I think you would like it. It's a nice jazz song to start off with if you have not really been into jazz before. But um, again, it's you should try jazz while you're um, crafting. It's wonderful. This beautiful image of these ladies with these fancy hats. And I added some washi tape here. And then I stamped some food coloring, food coloring dyed paper. I stamped it with some florals here. I added a pocket here and a pocket here and then a tag there. Um, um, I took a jazz class years back and I found some jazz notes so I thought I would Add those in. I probably should have inked them because they don't look too vintage, but I thought it would be nice to have some fun jazz facts. 
So I stuck that in there. And then here's a beautiful floral here. And then I added a tag. I glued it down and then this love, I don't know if you can see it, but it's embossed here. It looks like a postage stamp. And there's some more food coloring dyed paper and then whoop, some more um, jazz notes on Bebop. Dizzy Gillespie and Bird, Charlie Parker, a bunch of different jazz artists or jazz legends so if there's something that you're interested in um, maybe a genre of music that you like wouldn't it be cool to make a junk journal that reflected that this is actually opera but this is some aged ephemera so I thought I would add that and plus I liked the colors they went with some of the colors in my tickets there's another tag there and then here is a beautiful lady here in a beautiful dress i added some trim and a button there and then here's a tag that moves we're almost at the end all right, and then I added another watercolor tag, or actually this is not watercolor, this is alcohol ink. I love alcohol ink and it dries so quickly. So that's what I use for that. And my tag moves here. Um, some beautiful paper. And I use some alcohol ink to create this beautiful tag as well and a, bot a botanical here and then some music paper made a corner tuck there and some washi tape here is some coffee dyed green paper a cute little bag here some more little jazz notes inside and a piece of paper here and then i added some Cute little tags I'm loving this alcohol ink it just makes the most unusual and the most beautiful artistic ephemera so that is that and then here a place for writing these beautiful ladies who look like they are on their way maybe to a concert a jazz concert that's the way I took it and here is some um, ephemera, Duke Ellington and his orchestra. And this was at Carnegie Hall, the first time that he played Carnegie Hall. So I thought that was a very interesting piece. I'll stuck that here in this pocket. Added a little ticket here. And then we're already at the end, so this beautiful tag I created using the, um, is it barnwood paper? And I added some of those tickets and then this beautiful vintage image here. I added this mini white paper doily with some washi tape. And then this folds over this. And I made this a while back and added a um, wax seal there. I will include that video below as well, but I added some um, scrap paper with writing and then I added some coffee dyed paper there. And on the inside is Billie Holiday doing her thing there. She's singing, 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 singing. So I'm gonna stick this back in here. I just love these um, vintage images. They just bring me joy. I love them. And then here, she's singing and there's Duke Ellington watching in amazement. Two very, very gifted 
jazz legends. And they have many, many, many jazz legends, but um, I just wanted to mostly do the uh, bring some light to the women to start with, but they're all wonderful. Um, so this again is the outside of this journal. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed um, making this journal. It was so much fun. And um, I will link all, I'm sorry, you're all, I hit the, um, okay. I will link all of the related videos in the description. Please uh, take a moment to check those out. Uh, share with your friends and tell everyone to come over and check me out if uh, they haven't already. I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new here to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. I would appreciate that. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.